Two reports on the Bay Area housing crisis. We're going to begin with Phil Mateer, live near an affordable housing project in Cordelia, the kind of development California mayors want to see more of. Phil? That's right. But to do it, they've got a package of bills and fees that are going to affect just about everybody watching one way or the other. Here's the story. Everywhere you turn in the Bay Area, it seems like housing is going up. But it is never enough. And throughout California, the need is the same. Working families living in their cars, we have a crisis. And that's why mayors from seven of the largest California cities were in Sacramento today to prod lawmakers into passing a bundle of bills and new fees for more affordable housing. Of course, cities are building the bridge only halfway. We need the state to build the other half of the bridge. Part one. Ask voters next year to approve borrowing $4 billion to build housing for the homeless, seniors, and veterans. Part two, streamline the permitting process by making it tougher for cities and suburbs to say no to new housing developments. They are concerned, understandably, about quality of life issues, about traffic impacts, about a whole bunch of things. And part three, a new $75 fee on real estate transactions, like home refinancings, liens, and developer filings. And while it would not apply to home sales, some are calling it a new tax, and that's making it tough for lawmakers who are still taking heat for having raised the gas tax by 12 cents a gallon. We are cautiously optimistic. A lot of these policies that are being proposed in Sacramento are well, very well intended. Um, but there are a lot of it is very focused on homeless folks and folks who are below the poverty level. We know the rich can afford the houses. Mm -hmm. We know the poor are going to be helped by these. What, but, what, but what does all this do for the middle? To make it faster to build housing in that missing middle area. Until the dynamic at the local government level is changed and they become more accommodating to housing, we will fall short of what we need for working class people to afford a home. And as we said, it's not just money. It's also suburban areas having to do their part, and that means possibly denser developments and more houses. But there is tough resistance up in Sacramento, so this is a nip and tuck as they try to wind this up before the legislative session ends. Meanwhile, in the Bay Area, the crisis continues. Outside Cordelia Junction, Phil Mateer, KPIX 5.